Hey YouTube, how you doing? You okay, huh? All right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Places and Statistics where I give you, where I show you places and then I show those places with statistics. You might be asking, why is this person washing their hands? Because it's COVID in the land. Wash your hands. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about a city, a city that is nicknamed the bold new city of the South and the city on the move. Of course, I'm talking about Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida was supposedly discovered by Ponce de Leon. Now, I'm not gonna lie, moving to the South, I'm starting to get skeptical about Ponce de Leon and Christopher Columbus. Cause it seems like everywhere I go, there's something to do with these two everywhere. And it's like, I'm getting kind of like cautious. This is just my own personal caution. Yeah, I talked to a girl, I think in Mexico, and she said that the history that we learn over here in America is not the history that they learn in Mexico. And I'm trying to figure out like why that is. But anyway, so I'm gonna report on what I found. I read somewhere, Northeast Florida was discovered by Ponce de Leon in 1513. He and his Spanish crew landed about 25 miles from today's Jacksonville and named it Pashoa, Florida as a reminder that his landing occurred during the Feast of Flower. As of 2019, the population of Jacksonville was 911,507. Yo, what? Oh, snaps. What? Why did I think? Orlando was bigger than Jacksonville. Yeah, I'm in Orlando right now, but I think I know where I might be going after this. But anyway, if you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville, Florida, watch my top reasons to move to Jacksonville, Florida. Number 10, food. Woo, glory to God, hallelujah, and praise his name. I'm not gonna even pull up stats for this one. The food in Florida is amazing. Have y'all ever ate in Florida or New Orleans? I, oh, you might say, oh, well, New Orleans is a city and Florida is a state. Right. But it just seems like the food anywhere in New Orleans, good. Fire. Big fire. And the food everywhere in Florida, good. Mm, big fire. Keep that in mind. Number nine. Big. Estately.com says, as in really big. You might think Miami has the largest population in America's southernmost state, but you'd be wrong. Jacksonville does. That's something I kind of just came to the conclusion of when Siri was reading the population in the intro. You gotta love Siri. Uh, it goes on to say, in fact, it's also the largest city by area in the contagious United States and it can easily take 45 minutes to get from one end to the other at non-peak traffic times. Get used to driving the interstate to most locals. It's really just a glorified service road. Uh, yeah, Jacksonville, Florida is pretty big. I don't understand, I was just there. Why did I not think of it to be that big? Um, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, keep that in mind. Number eight. Art. Extraspace.com says Jacksonville's thrilling art scene is filled with museums and art installations sprinkled throughout the city. Stroll down to the Summer Museum, which features more than 500 pieces of art ranging from European paintings to ancient Egypt pottery. Visit the Museum of Contemporary Art in parentheses Mocha to view modern paintings, prints, and sculptures. Make your way to the downtown art walk where you can take a walk through art galleries, grab a bite from food trucks, and you get it. There's museums here, and there's art. Keep that in mind. Number seven, Parks and Nature, and stay tuned to the end for some Jacksonville, Florida trivia. I read somewhere, the city of Jacksonville operates the largest urban park system in, in the United States. There are over 80,000 acres under management right now in 262 designated parks. Each one brings its own unique charm and personality, allowing you to have the perfect experience with your family on a peaceful weekend 
afternoon whether you choose the rich history that is available at the Hemming Plaza which was the city's first part or you head over to Riverside for some quiet space there is a place here that matches your personality this is super interesting because I was just in Jacksonville oh okay okay wait it also was raining if you check out my top dangerous areas in Jacksonville Florida that's when I was there, but it was raining. But anyway, keep this in mind when you go to Jacksonville, Florida. There's parks and there's nature. Number six, cost of living. Now, vtana.org says the city Jacksonville almost always makes the list of the major cities in the United States with the lowest cost of living. Housing is the most affordable option in this category compared to what you will experience anywhere on the east coast not only is it lower than the statewide average this city is also more affordable than the national average that means you can enjoy many of the benefits of living in a warmer climate without the cost disadvantages that you can find in other cities i'll put it this way you can go to a place like buffalo new york where i'm from where it's cold and have a cheap cost of living or you can go to a place in Florida and enjoy some of this warm weather with a cheap cost of living in the sunshine state. Number five, shopping. Now I didn't even pull up no stats for this one. You can shop in Jacksonville. Now it's something about that down south, about that tropical and vibe, about that Florida vibe. You know, going to shop somewhere in the winter and it's like 75 degrees, 85 degrees in the winter. You know, or you can be up north shopping somewhere when it's five degrees. You know, I give I'm not mistaken. I remember a couple of times up north in Buffalo growing up where it was like negative five degrees. Now, what type of weather you want to shop in? Negative five or 85 in January? You decide. Number four, activities. Vtana.org says, if you enjoy fishing or hunting, then you are going to love living in Jacksonville. This city, compared to others of a similar size, offers numerous outdoor activities for those who love a sporting adventure. The St. John's River is the unofficial symbol of the city with this advantage, which residents use often for boating, fishing, and water skiing when golf is more of your outdoor sport then you can take advantage of the presence of the pga tour in nearby ponte verda and goes on to just talk about just the fun that you can have in jacksonville florida but the activities here uh i keep saying this you can live up north where it's cold or down in jacksonville up north activities are going to be limited I mean, because who's playing golf when it's January and 20 inches of snow outside? I, who even wears golf shoes in the middle of winter? I mean, so if golf is your thing, Jacksonville can be a place for you. But yeah, just definitely the activities here are going to be a lot and plentiful for you. Keep that in mind. Trivia time. What? is located in South Jacksonville and over 200 years old. A, a tree. B, a bee. C, a key. D, carbon molecular fossil fuel strandonitis. <laughs> and if you guessed D, carbon molecular fossil fuel strandonitis. You're wrong, I, I, I don't know what that is. And if that is a thing, I, I thought I just made it up. But that's what I was looking for is A, a tree. Uh, the Treaty Oaks is located on the south banks of downtown. It was planted in 1822 and it, it has a circumference of 25 feet and is taller than 70 feet. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's an octopus tree that was planted a long time ago. Long story short, neat stuff. Number three, football stadiums. 
Now, if you've been tuned into this channel for a little bit, you might wonder why why you don't ever put sports on this list. The reason why I don't ever put sports on these lists is because I'm not really a big fan of sports. I, I just don't. It's, it's, it's not my thing. I don't really understand like how people go so hard for people they just don't know. Like right now, if you go to random people and say, "Hey, I don't like LeBron James," somebody might fight you, and that same person who fights you probably don't even know LeBron James. It's a, it's a good possibility, but I, I just don't understand. It's like people like down south and sometimes in general just treat sports like religion. It's like it's not that serious. But anyway, so you might be wondering why is football stadiums on this list? It's not because they play football at these stadiums. It's because these football stadiums have swimming pools. You heard it, right? As Stately.com says, despite a few depressing seasons of late, Attendance at the Jaguar games is actually pretty healthy. Whether or not that has to do with the pair of swimming pools, yes, swimming pools, and the north end zone, and the world's largest stadium video display isn't certain. But neither tricked out fan feature seems to be hurting. Everbank Fields ticket sales. That's something super interesting. Like I said, I'm not advising to go to the game or nothing like that. I'm not any type of sports fan but that's just that's kind of interesting maybe they have other events there that you can use a swimming pool i don't know but interesting stuff number two beaches now innovative property solutions says as a resident in jacksonville you are never too far away from a fabulous beach the area has numerous stunning beaches for swimming or just lounging out as you make your way down south, you'll find an endless array of great sandy strips. Well, whoever wrote that, good job on imagery. <laughs> but some of the beaches uh, that I've found that are there or nearby is the Atlantic Beach, the Neptune Beach, the Jacksonville Beach, the Ponte Verde Beach, the Mayport Beach, the American Beach, Fort Clinton State Park, uh, and the Big Talbot Allen State Park. Keep that in mind. And number one, weather. Now, this is an obvious one. Uh, I'm actually not in Jacksonville. I'm in Orlando, Florida right now, and the weather is phenomenal. It's like 83 degrees, and it is November 25th. Where I'm from, that's like, like kind of unheard of. But anyway, Innovative Property Solutions says, warm weather is a huge advantage of living in Jacksonville. The winters are mild to say the least. The area hasn't seen snow since the late 1980s. I'm going to just stop right there. But I'm going to say that one more time, though. The winters are mild, to say the least. Okay. The area hasn't seen snow since the late 1980s. Being from Buffalo, New York, do you know how, how that just, how that sounds to me? I'm going to read that one more time. The area hasn't seen snow since the late 1980s. Keep that in mind. Yeah. So there you guys have it. That is the list. That is some of the top reasons to move to Jacksonville, Florida. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give me a like if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. And, you know, comment. But, you know, if you want to. Uh, until next time, hope you guys have a nice day.